<laughs> Hello, welcome to Milbert Plays. I'm Player One Brit. And I'm Player Two Mel. And this is Bun Speed Punks. Mel, have you played this before? This is one that uh, I don't think we ever owned as growing up, but it, we definitely rented it at one point. It looks very familiar. I never played this. This was recommended by a colleague, Sarge. So thank you for the the suggestion. Uh, so if you like Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart, similar vibe, similar feel. It's going to feel very familiar once we start getting into it. Yeah. So we have a Game Facts description. So why don't you take it away, Mel? Speed punks, whatever it takes to win. This isn't about playing fair. It's about launching missiles, taking weaselly shortcuts, blowing out tires, and basically stooping to any level to humiliate your fellow driver. Meet the speed punks. They're a bunch of tarmac Terran racing maniacs who will always take the low road to victory. Six racing maniacs, each with their own driving characteristics, blow through 24 hostile tracks, a shed load of power-ups and projectiles, cheat your way up to the front with missiles, bombs, slime, machine guns, and more. Plug in the multi-tap for intense four-player competition. Race your way through a heated tournament mode and be crowned Speed Punk's champion. Whoa. Yeah. And this game is intense. Like, I think around this time it was Mario Kart 64 and Crash Team Racing, and they're both kind of, you know, beginner level racing games. This one. As an indie arcade racing game? It's. It's intense, and it's it's very challenging, for sure. The The AI is not friendly in this game <laughs> at all. So let's uh, get into it. So we've got the tournament, single race, time attack, versus. Uh, you were wanting to do... Let's go down to versus. Versus? Okay, so let's do versus. And do we want to do... Five... Four... Four lap? Four laps sounds good. On a single race? Well, let's try tournament. tournament. Okay. Pickups. Definitely on. On. Is that the items? Yes. Those are the, the special items that you'll pick okay, up. Okay. So, yes. We want the items. So, every, you've got a whole bunch of different characters. All original characters, too. That's that's kind of cool that they, you know, this isn't a spinoff of another game. No. All completely original characters. All with different characteristics on how they drive and personality types that you can kind of already tell how they may drive you know so we've got we were kind of looking at some of the um, stats for each ones ahead of time and kind of I was leaning towards uh, Finnerdu I used to have a we used to have a black and white dog that looked like him so I think I might go with Finnerdu now, Finnerdu, you have to unlock, correct? Yes, I actually unlock the dog. Um, you have to get first place in every single race in the Easy Cup and win the Easy Cup to unlock the dog. Then you have to race the dog, and the dog has maxed out speed, maxed out acceleration, and the lowest weight. So right now, he is definitely the easiest character to win races with. Right. So Mel's like, I'm just going to let you have a handicap. Oh, thanks, Mel. You're so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate you. Mm. So I'm going as Burp. And I'm going as Mel. Okay. So then start. No? X? Yeah, yep, there X. You go. Okay. Let's just do the easy cup. Let's just Easy cup? Let's just do the so easy cup. So easy cup's got Shipwreck Shore, Neon City, Millennium Park, and Thunder Trail. And right off the bat, I can just, it gives like a little demo for those who are listening. And it's very, very colorful, very colorful, <laughs> which for a PS1 game, very nice. Yeah. And even with the, the pixels and stuff, it's a very detailed it's very game. It's smooth. feels yes. very smooth. So we'll go easy. Now, the difference between this and a, just a normal one player tournament is we don't have other racers racing against us. It's just us right now. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think we will do at least one single race with all the other 
AI characters, so you can kind of see how yeah. difficult it, <laughs> Here they we make go, it. we're off, okay. And we're <laughs> off. All right. Both got the speed boost at the beginning. Speed boost. Do, 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 do. We got items. I've got a green slime, I guess. It's just kind of like your oil slick, you know, okay. you run into it. And that is L1. No, L1. Yep, L1. And it drops behind. I don't know if it shoots forward or not. That one does not. Uh, I got a bomb. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm sliding all over. Friend or two, <laughs> keep digging. Let's go, man. One thing you'll notice right off the bat as you're playing this game is the controls are mm. very loose. Yeah. You drift all over the place. Like, one little overcorrection and you're going to hit a wall or something. Beep, beep. Did it get you? You did, but I moved fast. Oh, lame. Um... One thing that this game has that like Mario Kart doesn't have is you can collect <laughs> like a boost power. Whoa, whoa. I'm already dizzy. And so if you hit the R1 button, you get a nice little boost. Boost. Oh. Yeah, little boost coins almost. Ooh, missed me just a little bit. Oh, I got it again. The sharky Coming ones are your, like your homing missiles. I've got two of the just regular Bye. missiles, but they're very hard to fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the potion. Oh no, I'm in the water. Potion's kind of like your star power. It makes you invincible and invisible. And anyone who bumps into you gets like immediately thrown off to the side. So that's a nice one. That's a good one to have, especially if you're in first. And then the rainbow of doom or something. <laughs> what Sarge called it. Or yeah, you called it. It just kind of wipes out everybody on the road ahead of you. I'm hoping we see that one. I know. I have very distinct memories of that power-up from when I was a kid, even though I maybe only played this once growing up. Right. The con Yeah, the controls are, like, physics-based, quote-unquote, I guess, when we I was researching it. And a lot of drifting. A lot of drifting. Yeah, you'll drift all over the place. And there is a power slide in this game, but... It's not, not good. Not great. More often than not, it's going to slide you into a wall versus around a corner. Didn't you say it felt similar to another driving game? Like a drifting game? Yeah, I think if you played uh, any of the Need for Speed Underground games where they have those drifting, the drifting tracks, this is going to feel pretty pretty familiar to you. Mm -hmm. right. uh, a little around two, two minutes for that first, first map. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad. And it's not as hectic without the other racers. And there was the pirate ship kind of towards the end, and it's not really a shortcut. Yeah. I didn't. We didn't take it on purpose because you're just gonna run into the wall. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. I feel like it was just kind of there to troll you. Yeah. And it got the boost. I didn't get the boost. Speed boost. Boop boop. I got like a little tiny, tiny boost. Oh, little splat. There we go. And in a lot of these... Oh, it didn't unlock. Uh -oh. oh, there's a little cheat right there, but I think I have to wait until, like, the last. It only opens on the last lap. Oh, poo. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I thought I was going to be cheat, 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 leet, 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 but no, no, that's okay. That's all right. There are some, uh, some tracks that have shortcuts, and they almost become mandatory because in the AI, like, it shouldn't be programmed this way, but no. it is. The AI knows the shortcuts, and it will take those shortcuts, and if you don't, you're going to lose. I've gone from, like, first place down to sixth place in a matter of seconds because everyone knew the shortcut, and I didn't. No, an AI should not. Like, programmers, don't do that. You know, especially if it's on an easy mode. Hard? I suppose that would make sense. Yeah. I see you, but you're, like, so far ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm um, pro. Uh, I guess. <laughs> pro gamer. Mm. Oh no. Oh. I popped you. <laughs> so, yeah, that one pops all the tires of every other racer. Good. I mean, I'm s sorry. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's so sad. Supposedly, you can avert that by like, just mashing on the X button like uh -huh. your tires will kind of deflate but I've never been able to mash fast enough to avoid that. They're like no 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 and like if you're drifting up a wall or something and your tires pop the game will wait until you're at the bottom of the wall for your tires to come back. <laughs> That's so cheap. There's some like really Final frustrating lap. bugs in this game. Oh no. Okay. So 
Let's reset my speed. Ooh, I got the shark thing. Oh, oh, no. I'm sliding everywhere. Come on, give me the speed boost. Speed boost. I'm finally at final lap. Wow. <laughs> wow. I I'm going to use that shortcut, though. That you, uh, it didn't open up. Maybe it doesn't on multiplayer. I don't lame know. Lame programmers. <sighs> Very lame. Especially on easy. How dare you? <laughs> I knew there's. I know there's a cheat there. There is. Yeah, absolutely. You won, GG. And some tracks, it's like it. It only opens on the final lap. Some tracks, it's like the second to last lap. And the last two laps, you have to use that shortcut. I guess. Good job, GG. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just speeding through this one. I mean, Nyeow. are you? Are would you consider yourself a speed punk? <laughs> Fun fact, this game in other countries is known as Speed Freaks. Yes. I'm not sure. I'm sure legal reasons, you know. I don't know why they didn't add that. There is a shortcut in this level somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. Oh, okay. And you don't really need it. Um, this is one of the drift track. But, like, the you can see the, the waterfall. That looked pretty cool, you know. Yeah, and like the dirt and stuff, and the the particles and stuff that they have. The in these particles, games. yes, very detailed. Yeah, I guess uh, Sarge said this was many, many like Friday night order pizza, you know, and hook up the multi tap and like good times with her and her kids when they were in middle school. But she's like, oh yes, very fond memories. It's kind of a semi rare game to find. Yeah. It's so just be on. If you're on the lookout, you know, might, you may may not see it. You suggested that one a long time ago. Oh, yes. And Months ago. Yeah, it, it, it took us a while to find it. And we were just on a hunt, a random hunt, and it was on, like, the bottom shelf for the PS1 games. I'm like, oh, oh, Speed Punks, I gotta get it. I don't, you know, I don't care. Like, it wasn't that expen that much more expensive, you know, than a typical semi-rare game. But, yeah. no, it's it's a good time. And it, then we popped it in, and as we get into those, like, the character select screen, suddenly I'm getting You're all like, these, like... You're like, wait a minute. A core memory unlocked! <laughs> yeah, all these childhood memories, like, wait I know we never owned this game. You're we like, never owned this game. Oh, haha, <laughs> bye. <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose, though. Wait, no, I need to have confidence. Oh, I bombed myself! <laughs> I guess I am the bomb. <laughs> uh, fit or do, let's go! No, no. And yeah, these dirt tracks are brutal because oh, one yes. little one little overcorrect and you're off the track. Oh. And there's some really difficult ones in like the medium cup that it took me a lot of tries just to get through. It's a little hard to get those little the coin things to see. I'm like drifting everywhere. Yeah. It's really hard to just line it up just right. Very, I mean, you might be able to get a couple, like just now, like I did. I, d I don't know what the multi bullets do. I, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, it, it's like a machine gun. Uh huh. But you gotta be like close. You gotta be right on them to I use see. it. And ah, then GG. The missiles too. If you try to fire them, more than likely they're gonna go off in a direction you didn't intend because mm. you're drifting all over the place. Mm -hmm. So. Some of these power-ups are very helpful, some of them are not. And even like the bombs and stuff, you're usually going to run into your own bombs. Notice. It's like the banana, right, from Mario Kart? Yeah, that's kind of like the slime is like the bananas. And okay. Then the bombs are like, almost like landmines, but it seems like the AI will hit the slimes, but they won't hit the bombs. And you'll end up bombing yourself more than anything else. This game <laughs> <What>? is hard. <laughs> But are you having a good time, though? I am. This is this is nice. Um, if this came out in 1999, 2000 era, you know, like middle school us, and you're like, yes. Hey, slumber party. <laughs> Especially if we had the multi-tab. This would be so fun with four, four players. people. Four players would be a good time. Yeah. I miss the days of, like, four-player split screen. Yes. This one also has a shortcut, but I doubt it's going to open up for us. Yeah. Actually, it's open right now. Is it? Uh -huh. Where are we going? Uh, this this is the normal way that I'm going oh, right now. Okay. Oh, not to the lava. No, 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 no. Not in the lava. Not lava. Here to see. Go on, baby. Yeah, it's interesting that with the multiplayer, some of the assets in these tracks are missing. Like there's swinging pendulums as you go through the lava places and stuff. They kind of pared it down 
probably to save memory for the multiplayer. I suppose, oh. yeah. Not fun. Oh, oh not fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. You mad? You um, mad? A little bit. Oh, I bombed myself. <laughs> Whoa, and it made me turn all the way around. Yep, in the lava, and that sucked. Oh, ooh. let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye. Uh. <laughs> Woohoo. And there's a couple cheats if you do end up at a, like a complete standstill. If you hold accelerator and brake and spin oh, around okay. in a circle twice, you get a speed boost. <laughs> I can shoot backwards with, if I hit um, L1 back arrow. Yes, with the missiles. Uh oh, I went into the water. No, no, <laughs> no, no, blah, blah, blah. blah. Come, no, just, just, just drown, dude. Come on. Nope, why, okay. This is why it's always a good idea to keep some of that boost in reserve. Because you're going to run into areas where you're going to be at a standstill. I guess. Or if you need to accelerate through that turn like this shortcut here. Uh-huh. Which if you go left instead of right, that's the shortcut. I'm going to try to go left. All right. Okay. There you go. I'll help you out. Thanks. You're Got the best, Millie. Gotcha, dog. Thanks. <laughs> what up, dog? <laughs> oh, lap. Oh, ooh. oh okay. what the hell? Where, where, how are you raining bombs on me? I'm way <laughs> over there. Am I about to lap you? Did I lap you? Um. No. No. I'm, I'm kind of close to you. And where are these bombs coming from? I gotta think of like a bomb song. I think bomb, the... bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, you've got those ones. Yeah. They, they drop in front of whoever's in first, it's like your blue shell. Uh huh. So mean. I know. I'm sorry. You don't even have to be anywhere near me. That's nope. cheap. Nope. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. oh, I didn't even get to finish. GG. <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh. <sighs> well, <laughs> Mel wins. I suppose. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Golf clap. Oh, we have the award ceremony now. Right. It seems kind of weird that it's a podium built for three with only two people, but, you know, what, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Mm hmm. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, that's right. I am the greatest. I am the smartest. Do congratulations. Winner, winner, winner. Okay. <laughs>do you want to do, do it? one tournament just to show like how bad it is? I mean, great. <laughs> the AI is. Or we can do a single race too. We can take turns doing like a single race. Okay. And then just. Uh, yep. Why don't we do that? I'll try a different character. I'll, I wanna... you want to. You want something? <laughs> Monica. So now you can see the stats. Well, you could see the stats. Yeah. And she's very. Very balanced in terms of weight and acceleration and top speed. So I like I like Neon City, the cyberpunk feel. Yes, and this one, the shortcut should show up this time. I would hope. So now you can get a taste of just how vicious this AI is. Mm. Mm -hmm. They are mean, and if you don't get the boost right off the bat, nope. Yeah, they pull away. Oh, from look you at that! They're real fast. fast. So you can do like a little commentary for me. Yeah, and and Monica's going there. We're coming around the first turn, and Monica's in fifth place, sixth place, fifth, fourth place. And she's making that third turn here and losing ground. <laughs> exactly. In fifth place, Daddy's Little Psycho. Daddy's in, Little Psycho. In, in fourth place, <laughs> the Brain Baby. The Brain Baby. I can't even see who's in the other places. Turn. Uh, And they will hit every single little speed boost on the track. They'll steal your coins and items, too, like right in front of you. Nope, not unlocked yet. Nope, it's last lap on this one. 
I am just consistently fifth, sixth place. Get out of here. Oh, and he touched me. Now I went backwards. Yep. I am dead last. Welcome to speed bunks. Welcome to the good time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a great time. And this is one of those games- And it's easy mode! Where like, your luck can change very fast. So good luck like unlocking things, cause you know, it's gonna take you a while if you do. Yeah, there are three unlockable characters that I know of. Ooh, the Rainbow of Doom! Yes, wait until you're like, there. Okay, now do it. Do it. Do it. Now? Do it good. Dude. No! See, I have to like, I have to wait. I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind. That's why you should use the rainbow of death. Do it. No, not yet. Let not it yet. Off. No, I want to, I want to watch the agony go through them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is the second item? Oh, that just automatically. It, it shows you what it would have been. And if you use your item, then it will oh, drop in. It gives I you like a grace period, which is kind of nice. I see. And like if you're holding missiles and you pick up another missile, it they stack, oh, which is really nice. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. They put some thought into it. There are some things that I like better about this game than, um, you know, like Crash or Mario Kart. And there's some things I don't like about this game. <laughs> like how freaking punishing it is. Mm -hmm. And you could be in first place. And you could be right near the finish line, and then all of a sudden you get just a barrage of different power-ups. Okay, the shortcut's unlocked this time. Okay. Go ahead and let that thing off the chain. Oh. Bye. Oh, and I have three missiles. Homing missiles. Nice. nice. So, oh. Bye. 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 Just not last place. Just not last place. <laughs> That's all I ask. You gotta get you know? fourth to qualify. I just... I just gotta go. There just you go. There go, you go. go. Hit that second, speed boost. Second. Yeah, speed, speed boost. Woo! Nice. Second place. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Squeaked it out right I at the did. end there. <laughs> Seat of your pants. Oh, Monica. <laughs> and a surprise upset. <laughs> <laughs> Monica <laughs> takes second place. Whoop, 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 whoop. Daddy's little psycho takes first. And the mean, the mean team takes third, Brain Baby takes fourth, Angelica takes five, and whoever Monty is takes six. The video gamer guy, kid, I think. Ah, yes. Uh, Space McGee. Space McGee! All right. So, you at least get, like, an idea. Awesome. That's Speedpunks. Final thoughts. This game, you know, for... What we'd consider now to be a Mario Kart clone, it's actually really good for, you know, kind of an off-brand indie game. Graphics are clean, very colorful. There's, like, look in the, the background is detailed, you know. Um, the music's very late 90s, like, boots and cats and boots and cats, and, which I'm not against. I enjoy that type of music. I like that there's a variety of characters that have different stats, um, unlockable tracks, four players, which that's fun. That's nice. Yeah, that's really great for PS1. So what, what age would, would you recommend this then? I'd say um, oh, probably 8 to 10. To... 8 to 10, upper elementary age. And then it's one of those games that the more you play it, the more you get the feel for it, the better you're going to start doing. So it's not impossible. No. It's just, you got to, there's some practice that's going to be involved to start doing some of the harder races. You'd have to invest in some time to unlock the tracks, right? Right. But it's not impossible. It's just kind of frustrating at times. Yes, it's very frustrating. <laughs> so would you play this again? Oh, absolutely. I, I'm kind of digging this game. Awesome. All right. Well. That's uh, Speed Punks. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later.
Down, 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 down